Uh-oh, console fanboys are back at it as they spell doom and gloom for the PlayStation 5 over recent cost to build reports. Why all this talk has been hilarious to me up to this point, let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the reason. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right. So we're in the final eight to nine months leading up to the release of new consoles. And currently, we've had a soft reveal of the next Xbox courtesy of the Xbox Series X, right? Now, in contrast, Sony has deferred on committing to when they will do the same for the PlayStation 5. And because of that, gamers have questions. In lieu of those questions, a new report has surfaced detailing production woes Sony may be encountering. Fanboys of the Xbox have been using this opportunity, however, to proclaim why the new PlayStation 5 is, indef is indefinitely doomed and is in trouble. Uh, because of these new reports. All right, so on now to the analysis. So here's the story, let me pull it up here for, for all of y'all to see. It's courtesy of Bloomberg and it says, Sony is struggling with PlayStation 5 price due to costly parts. All right, and the story begins off reading, scarce components have pushed the manufacturing costs for Sony's next PlayStation to around $450 per unit, forcing a difficult price setting decision in this battle with Microsoft, according to people with knowledge of the matter. The Japanese conglom conglomerate is preparing to gradually replace the six year old PlayStation 4 with the PlayStation 5. Uh, Sony typically finalizes a console price in February of the release year, followed by mass production in the spring. However, with the PlayStation 5, the company is taking a wait and see approach said the people asking not to be named because of the because the details are private. Um, and then it further reads, the PlayStation 4 released in 2013 at a price of $399. Um, mark, and and the, the cost to manufacture was $381 with the PlayStation 5 at, at a similar uh, gross margin, the PlayStation 5 retail price, according to Bloomberg and IHS marketing, uh, would have to be $470, all right? Um, they're blaming it on, they said the biggest headache is ensuring reliability, supply of DRAM and NAND flash memory. I'm not even gonna attempt to pretend like I know what all that bibble babble means. Here's the thing though, in, in, in lieu of all that, right? Now again, as I alluded to earlier, the Xbox fanboys or just plain haters of Sony laugh at this and laugh that fa at the fact that Sony hasn't shown anything. And they truly believe that this spells doom and gloom for the PlayStation 5, or they suggest that this will make the PlayStation 5 underwhelming because it'll have cardboard parts. <laughs> it'll be made of Rice Krispie treats uh, for the GPU and all this silly stuff. Look, the discussion in totality is silly. Let me, let, let's just get to it. Now on to the prescription. First and foremost, beyond all this console war bibble babble, all console production is going to be at risk due to the coronavirus, all right? So y'all need to stop, okay? Y'all need to be worried about that. It don't matter if Sony's having difficulty finding cheaper parts. If if the coronavirus halts production on all consoles, then the price of their cost, I mean, the cost of their, their units or whatever they need might go down, but everybody's gonna be hampered, all right? So let's let's get there first okay let's not get too silly and get out into the weeds but foremost though i do agree with some of the sentiment about sony not showing anything i get it you know what i'm saying because you know me i've said in prior videos i wish that sony would be there at e3 but now in lieu of this story it all makes sense you know what i'm saying now i understand the dilemma that they face and i can see why they're doing what they're doing Here's though, even with all that being said, here's why I say this discussion just ultimately is silly. At the end of the day, Sony still has the proven talent to usher in highly anticipated games. Xbox doesn't, period. 
Now, people may say, MM2K, hold on, hold on. Xbox has been bringing said developer from this and that. Y'all don't even know what the hell these people did or what they've done prior in, 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 in specifics where they came from. All you know is a byline that's in a tweet or that's on, on a blog story. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how integral they're going to be all, uh, uh, be to the development of any game because y'all don't know what the hell they're developing. So stop, okay? And simply put, bring in another talent into your already losing infrastructure means nothing without appropriate leadership, okay? And as we've seen, we haven't seen much shift in leadership there. Everything still has to go through Phil Spencer. This is the same guy that said that he's now comfortable with Crackdown 3, making you feel like that you're the super agent and gamers will get the, the game that they deserve. So, I mean, again, a lot still has to be proven. And so then, those of you will defer to, well, MM2K, it don't matter because it is going to be a disastrous PlayStation 5 launch because the Xbox and Microsoft, they have all the money in the world. Okay, well, I'll just simply say this. Money won't make too much of a difference either. See, this is why I think sports analogies don't apply here, even though for that argument's sake, my Xbox brethren will say, yeah, it's like when you got a whole bunch of money in the salary cap and you bring in all these players and they do well and y'all win championships. See, it, 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 it's, it's muffled in, in a bunch of bloviating babble and that doesn't relate to anything in regards to the discussion at hand. See, sports analogies are bad simply because of this. The, the, the success of a sports team is based on inherent competition solely. There's only one winner. There's only one champion each year. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't talk about the losers, do you? No. Y'all, in the following year, y'all talk about how the people that tried to be winners can probably build upon what they have to become winners. But y'all don't talk about the losers like y'all talk about the winners. That's how sports work. However, in a consumer market, you can be a winner or be successful as a, even as a game company, whether you're on top or not. So you ain't have to come on top of the pyramid. You can still be a winner. As long as you stay within a respectable range and you make money, there can be, again, multiple winners. And because you all want to talk about money so much, think about this, all right? If y'all want, want to do this, this silly stuff, then think about this. Who is the richest basketball team in the world? Y'all want to know who the rich, richest basketball team in the world is? It's the Knicks. <laughs> it's the New York Knicks. Now, as far as winning... And the New York Knicks are concerned, what is the last championship that they won? 1973. Okay, all right. To be even more fair, how many playoff appearances at least have they had in the last 20 years? Only five. <laughs> Therefore, I implore all of y'all, look, stop talking sports. Stop talking this doom and gloom for Sony. And simply put, nobody should be talking anything until we what? see the games and i said from your boy mm2k hey yo let me know what you think about what i had to say in the comment section below because like i always say who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to follow me those links will lead you to the broadband bullies pnts network hard knock digital culture and yes the stadia dosage and with that being said you guys all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace